So today we're going to be doing an arthroscopic posterior labral repair. And then for our fixation, we're going to be using knotless fiber tacks with a curved guide. We're gonna start with the most inferior aspect first. And so we start with the curved guide. We're going through this posterior cannula here. And I'm gonna use a mallet to tap this in place once I get it where I want. And so I like holding the camera as I get this here. And then I'm gonna hand the camera off so that I can have two hands on this part because you can see where I have this. I'm gonna use this now and I'm gonna push the humeral head forward and then just tap this into place. We don't wanna skive as we bring this across. And now we're gonna drill full speed, allow it to self-center. It has a positive stop. We allow that as we pull it out. We don't worry about stopping the flow. We want that fluid to flush that out. We're gonna put our anchor into place. So we get that down and now I'm holding all the firmnesses with my left hand as I mallet that in place. We're gonna set the anchor. I'm gonna take the mini Kingfisher I like always getting these out of the way. And so I take an extra step and shuttle these out of the way before I start with my first pass. So I've got those all now out my anterior cannula. So I'm gonna use a 45 degree suture lassos. So Arthrex has a lot of options that we can use here for our suture lassos. The 45 degree ones will pass through a seven millimeter cannula. This just really helps me get the angle here. As I'm doing that, we're gonna just get behind the labrum here. The amount of capsule that you're going to grab depends on the pathology. Certainly some patients we're gonna to need to do a big capsular shift too, but we're gonna pass this through three dimensional move that we're doing there. We're gonna get our suture lasso and then come back through our anterior cannula and grab this to retrieve this out. So now we have this, you can load these in the joint if you need to. We're gonna go ahead and feed that on this side as we pull it through, that way there's no tension. And now at this point, we're going to take our working stitch. And so on this anchor, that's this blue stitch and we're going to pull our working stitch through our loop here. And so now as we pull this out, as we're pulling it through, and we're gonna pull this suture through. As we do this, we're going slow as we do this. Now we're gonna go back in with a mini Kingfisher, and we're now going in through our posterior portal. We're gonna retrieve both the suture and the tape here. And you can see how nicely this pulls that tape out. It doesn't cause any abrading there. So we have our loop, and now this is where we use the mark on our working stitch. Holding tension on that, now I'm going to pull my other suture in, and I'm continuing to hold tension here all the way until it gets to the cannula, and then I can release that. We wanna make sure that this loop of suture is not looped around the outflow. We have people looking at that as we're doing that, and then I'm just pulling this gently until I get to the suture, and that pulls it through. And now I can just tension this. I'm not going to tension this all the way because I'm gonna wait until the end to do this, but I'm just gonna get some of this tension down here until this loop is smaller. And when the loop is like this, then I'm gonna just leave that here and take this out perk. So we have three anchors placed now. One of the big advantages of this anchor and why I really love using this anchor for my instability repairs is whether you're trying to do a capsular shift or you're trying to do a capsular labral advancement or even just a simple labral repair, being able to wait until the end to tension all of these is a huge advantage over some of our standard anchors. And so we're going to demonstrate that now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and we're gonna tension these from the inferior most anchor first. And so we're coming around and again, this is our working stitch. We're going to pull this out. We're going to do this through the same cannula that we placed the anchor. I do still like to use the knot pusher with this as well. And so we are going to place this through our knot pusher so we can get some counter pressure down. So we're going to now slide our knot pusher in to provide our pressure here. And as I'm holding it here, now I'm going to take the tension of this anchor and start to shift this in place. One of the nice things again about doing this is we can just cut all these at the end. So if there's anything that you want to get more tension, we still have the ability. Then we're able to just go in and cut our sutures. You can see we've restored the labrum. We've got all our sutures under great tension. We've restored that nice roll, that labral at the posterior inferior aspect. 